There is a new AI tool out there that can help you generate t-shirt designs with text that is better than Midjourney and Ideogram.ai. And in this video, I'll show you how to use it. This AI tool is called Image Creator by Microsoft Bing. Image Creator had been out for a while now, but nobody uses it since it runs on OpenAI's image generator Dolly 2 which is not really great compared to other image generators. But with the recent announcement of Dolly 3, it seems like Microsoft has upgraded Image Creator from Dolly 2 to 3. Let me show you an example graphic you can expect to generate using Image Generator. Here are three t-shirt graphics I generated with the same prompt using Ideogram, Midjourney, and Image Generator. The prompt I used is Vintage illustration vector t-shirt graphic of a cat standing over New York City with small planes flying around with text, Catzilla, with no background. As you can see, Midjourney created an amazing graphic, but it didn't even bother with the text since it can't generate text or make it coherent when it does generate text. The next graphic by Ideogram AI, it has both the graphic and a coherent text along with it, but the quality is not so great. It has many artifacts in the generation. Now the last one by Image Creator follows more closely to the prompt and the image output has high quality graphic almost at the level of mid-journey with exact text I ask in the prompt spelled correctly. It manages to put these two together perfectly and now I can just download it, upscale or vectorize it then use it however I want. To use Image Creator go to bing.com slash images slash create. I will also leave the link to this in the description below. It is currently free to use. Once you created an account or just log in, if you already have a Microsoft account, it will take you here to the homepage. Keep in mind that Microsoft has not officially announced that they upgraded Image Creator from Dolly 2 to Dolly 3. So all the images in the homepage are generated with OpenAI's Dolly 2 model. I suggest running some text-based prompts to check if your account has access to the Dolly 3 model. Dolly 2 can't generate readable text, so you'll know the difference right away. If your account is still running on Dolly 2, try switching to a different web browser like Firefox or Safari and log in again. In my case, I got access when I logged in through Safari. I also created a new Microsoft account and got access right away just using Google Chrome. You can try creating a new account as well. Once you logged in, on top of the explore page is where you're going to enter your prompt. On the right of that, you'll see your fast generation points, which basically use to generate your images in a few seconds. You will get 100 points each month and if you runs out, you still can generate images, but it will take a bit longer. Now let's try generating other t-shirt graphics just to show what this image generator capable of. The first prompt we're going to generate is vintage Halloween illustration vector t-shirt graphic of an Australian shepherd with Merle with text happy Halloween with no background. Now let's click on create and give it a few seconds to generate the image. The kind of graphic I expect from this is an Australian Shepherd's dog with Merle pattern and the text Happy Halloween in vintage graphic style. Now it's done and we get four images. It doesn't create perfect images all the time as you can see on the third one, but just from this generation I already like the second one. It's amazing how it follows my prompt so closely. We got the Merle Australian Shepherd dog with Happy Halloween spelled out perfectly. I don't think I can get something like this out of Midjourney or Ideogram or any AI image generator for that matter. Now folks, that's the short video on Microsoft Bing Image Creator. I highly recommend you go try it out while it's completely free. I plan on doing an in-depth video on this AI in my next video, so like and subscribe if that's something you'll be interested in. And with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.